Robin and Shelly. Today we have prepared for you a lot of Korean lipsticks. So these are the bestseller, top rated, highly reviewed or whatever lipsticks and we're going to put them to the test. We have a whole range of brands from Hera to 3CE to Roman. We're going to show you all of them, compare their texture, consistency and the color. And we're going to rate them too. And also at the end of this video, we are going to open this Yes Style surprise box that they sent us. It's a bunch of Korean skin care that are like hidden gems, bestsellers. So yeah, stay tuned. I think for me, color-wise, I would give it an 8 out of 10. I feel like it's quite nice and natural for every day. 7 out of 10? 8 out of 10. What about the texture and consistency? 8 out of 10. For me, it's like a 4. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For me, it's 6 as well. I don't really like the gloss and the stickiness. It's down to personal preference. Like, yeah. I like something glossy but mm -hmm. moisturizing but doesn't stick as much. Application so, experience, yeah. I would give it a 9 out of 10. It's easy to apply. Mm -hmm. You can't really go wrong. Yeah, 8 out of 10. Yeah, 9 out of 10. And then value for money. How much did this thing cost? Around 30 USD. Mm -hmm. yeah. I would give it 6 out of 10 because I, I wouldn't buy a gloss. Personal preference. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. For me, I would give it a 7 out of 10. Hello, vegan and cruelty free. Mm -hmm. Okay, so transfer test. It does transfer onto the tissue. Mm -hmm. But the color is still on your lip and there's still a bit of gloss left, so I would give it a... I think it looks really orange on me, but that's because I have cool tone skin and orange doesn't look good on cool tone skin. So you would give it a... Five. I, I really like it on my it skin. It looks so bright. I think it looks really, yeah. yeah. But all colors it doesn't look on bad me on look you. really true. Like the Actually, you know what? If, you're like, if you like that poppy Korean look, this is okay. Like for me, I don't like bright lipstick for every day, so this is a 6 out of 10. I just look like a duck. Did you dab it on or did you... I dabbed it on. Like oh. a little bit would show a lot of color. For me, the color would be around 8. Like it's okay. not for every day, but I really like it in terms of like... Okay, what about the texture and consistency? Um, I'd give it an 8. Point five. 8. Not too drying and a little bit like it's blendable. I would give it a 7. Application experience. Uh, this I have some thoughts about. It's kind of hard to apply the gradient. Like when you swatch it, you can see all the layers yeah. of color. And once you put it on your lip, you're just like... And also because the gradient is only in one direction, you have to flip the lipstick to yeah. apply on your top lip. Oh, I didn't do that. I oh. was like, so which side has, is supposed to be on the inside of my lips? Like, oh, the dark yeah, side. And the then dark I flip it around for my upper lip. Yeah. Like, I was like, okay, that's how you're supposed to apply it. <laughs> but it doesn't make a difference if you apply it and then you go like this. Because it's going to be the same. Like, yeah. it's going to be all blended it all together. Yeah. For application, I would give it maybe a 6 out of 10. S 7 out of 10. A 6 out of 10. Okay, value for money. What? How much is this? $215. Hong Kong. 28 USD. 7 out of 10. Yeah, 7 out of 10. Same. It doesn't transfer as much as I thought it would, it's just a bit. Okay, so the Laneige lip bar is not cruelty free and if it's not cruelty free, it's not vegan, right? I'm wearing 118 Holy Rose and this is kind of like a, it's a red with a brown undertone. Yeah. I think the color is a good 8 out of 10. This is called the Mauve. It's more of a cool tone color, like pinkish red with a purple undertone, so it suits my skin tone. The color, a 7.5 out of 10. This is the um, Step and Go shade 222. Yeah, it's an orange red. But it's, it's a, a very orangey red. Yeah. It's a dark orangey red, it's not a bright one. Yeah. Yeah, it's not really my style mm. cover color, so like maybe 6 out of 10. Texture and consistency. I would give this five. like a 5 out of it's just so dry yeah. to the point where you can't even apply it like this because it just like pulls on everything. Yeah. You have to dab it on. You can see the lip lines and the peeling yeah. on my close-up shots. 
4 out of 10 for me. Like this is a true matte lipstick. Mm. So in a way it is going to be a bit dry. I think the times have moved on from the true yes, matte. Exactly. Like there are lipsticks out there that have matte but doesn't need to be drying, you know yeah. what I mean? Okay, application experience, I think that kind of like links up as well. I would give it also like a 6 out of 10. Same. Don't like honestly, don't just buy it off online. Go to a shop and tr and like swatch it. And then you'll know what we mean. So we're, we're both six. Okay, she's mm, four. Sorry. <laughs> My lips are dry. But the value for money though, for a lipstick that is like really nice packaging and it's 3CE and there's a really the nice color nice. selection for what it is, like would I buy it? Eh, I would give the value for money like a six out of 10. I feel yeah. like matte lipsticks could be better nowadays. Yeah. Four out of 10. <laughs> sorry! <laughs> four out of 10 for everything. <laughs> Oh, one good thing is it's cruelty free. Oh, and it doesn't transfer. Yeah. Because mm, it's so it. freaking dried up. Yeah. Velvet Lip Tint in Go Now. This is a purpley, kind of mauve shade. The color, 9.5 out of 10. Mm. Why not a 10 out of 10? I mean... <laughs> well, so where, did they, where did it lose the 0 0.5 is where I'm curious I mean, about. I don't wear this every day, but Aww. it's such a good shade for my skin tone. It is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For me, it's like a 7 out of 10. It's definitely not a color I would wear every day. It's more purple than what I would usually go for. Mm -hmm. But the shade itself is not bad. It is seven out of ten because I, it doesn't it doesn't match with my go to like eyeshadow look. Mm. But it looks good on its own if I have a cooler look on my eyes. So right now my eyes are warm and this is like purple and it looks a little bit like off. How about the texture and consistency? I would give this like a good eight point five out of ten. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. It's super really small. comfortable. Yeah. Super lightweight. And it, yeah, and it's Smooth. moisturizing. Mm. Application experience. Mm. 9 out of 10. 8 out of 10? Yeah, 9 out of 10. Value for money, how much is this? 15 USD. Because so I would time. give it like an 8 out of 10. Yeah, because I yeah. like the color, so I think it's worth 8 yeah. out of 10. For 8 me. out of 10. 8 out of 10. This is cruelty free again. And it is not that transfer proof, but after I've blotted it, the color is still there, so. This is the 3CE Velvet Lip Tint in Daffodil. A very Korean red. Like yeah. when you wear it, your entire face looks brighter. Yeah. It's, it's really orangey. For me, it's a 7 out of 10. I give it a 5 because it's not a color I'd wear. It's super orangey, so on me, it just looks out of place. Mm. Not for cool toned skin. I actually kind of like it. 7 or 8 out of 10 for me. Yeah. So which is it? Seven or eight? Eight. Texture and consistency, I would give, I would still give this a really high grade. Whatever I gave mm. just now. Same. <laughs> Same thing. Yeah. 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 Eight or nine. Easy to blend. Yeah. Easy to dab with finger. Mm -hmm. Nine out of ten. Two hundred thirty dollars. Uh, Hong Kong dollars. Okay. Yeah. Same then. Same as before. Yeah. Transfer test. Very little. Oh, for this color, is less transfer proof. Yeah, that's weird. I mean, more transfer proof than the other one. Okay, so this is 3CE's Blurring Liquid Lip in Bearberry. It's more of like a deep berry red color, so it does lean more towards the cool purpley side. Mm. But definitely, I think for warm skin tone, it still works. 7 out of 10. It's very, very, very bright, which means that you don't get a lot. Like, I won't wear it that often. 8 out of 10. Um, the color in itself, I think it's an 8 out of 10. But then, will I wear it every day? Definitely not. Okay, what about the texture and consistency? I'll give it a 9. Point five. I like it even more than the other 3CE ones. So same, yeah. same. I would nine give it a ten. 9 out of 10. Mm -hmm. It's so comfortable to wear and it actually just completely blurs out everything mm -hmm. on your lip, right? In My real life, life so it looks dry. like... Yeah, it yeah. looks like it's your actual lip color. All of our lips are so dry right now after trying so many lipsticks and this just completely removes the look of dryness. So. It, concealed my, it concealed all of my lip lines, which I'm really impressed about. Okay, so red application anyways. experience. I would give it a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. Uh, I applied this differently where I like blurred it with my fingers, which is... Oh, I did that too. Same. Yeah. So. Mm. 9 out of 10. I would give the value like a good 10 out of 10. 
Mm. This one is an upgraded version than the velvet one, mm. but it's the same price. Mm. So 10 out of 10. 10, out of 10. Of the world. 10 out of 10 for value. It's, oh, it's less transfer proof than the other ones, but after I patted it, I mean, the color is still all there, so. So we're trying the Roman lipsticks. I tried the Juicy Lasting Tint in number 13, Eat Dottori. I tried number 7, Jujubi. Or Jujubi? Or Yuyubi. Because it's not Yuyubi, that's for sure. <laughs> like Mine's the Zero Velvet Tint in O2, Joyful. I love the color. For me, it's 9 out of 10. I really like it. For me, it's a bit too orangey and it's something about it just doesn't, the color doesn't sit evenly. For me, the color is way too orange for me and way too vi vibrant for my skin tone, so definitely. Wait, what's the rating? 5 out of 10. Mine's a 6 out of 10. Texture and consistency, I would give it also like a 6 point, maybe a 6.5 out of 10. It's comfortable to wear, but the thing about it, it's a bit too sticky for me mm. for a 10. I would like it to be a bit more velvety or cloudy. It seeps into your lip and that's how it stains your lip, but then when it seeps in, it stains unevenly. So the patches that are more dry or more moisturized on your lip, there's a different level of color. I don't know if you guys can tell, like some parts of my lip are darker, but it's not that I applied more there. It's literally because it, tends it so just quickly. tints not evenly. Yeah, is it yeah. same for you? Um, for me, I think it's because the color is less um, dark that it actually is pretty even. You guys will like mine. Mine's is a cloudy, um, mm. it kind of feels like the 3CE but actually more lightweight. So texture, mm. I love. It's so lightweight and it's so blurring. 9.5. I'm rating it 7 out of 10 for application. 8 out of 10. Yeah, 8 out of 10. Value for money. So our juicy lasting tint is 70 Hong Kong dollars, which is crazy cheap. That's like less than 10 USD. Yeah. At least on Yes Style, that's the price. And then your zero velvet tint is also the same price, seventy dollars. Wait, this size or larger? Large, full oh, size. That's we good. just we're just trying the travel size right now. The full size is like ten USD. Wow, then it's ten out of ten for its worth. Yeah. For me, that I would much. give it nine out of ten yeah. for value. It's very comparable to the three CE, but three CE is more expensive. So definitely, like this one, it's really good, good for dupe. the value. Yeah, very good dupe. I really like this color mm -hmm. and this product. Yeah. So ten out of ten. Oh, what? I got nothing. Can you give me a tissue? Can I try? I got a little bit. Right. So it. Trans yeah, it's nothing. barely yeah. anything. Yeah. yeah. Nothing. But I mean, it says zero, so I guess it's not supposed to be transfer proof. <gasps> is that what it means? I guess, or like zero feel. Roman is cruelty free. Great! Okay, so next we tried out Peri Para's most best selling lipsticks. Um, I tried out the Ink Tint Serum in shade number two, mm -hmm. Rosy Around. I would say that this shade is a good 8 out of 10. I tried the Perry's Ink Velvet. This one is in number seven, Dollish Beige Rose. I don't think they have the shade anymore. We couldn't find it online. Yeah, it's the original, like first generation. Even the packaging is yeah, not the Peri same. Yeah, Peri Para line. Um, I'd rate this color a seven point five out of ten. Mm -hmm. Okay, so number three, sold out red, is no longer available, but I like the color. I'm not super huge fan, but it's, it looks okay on me. I think I'll give it like a six, six out of ten. Texture-wise, this wears really comfortably. I barely feel it on my skin. Like the, the tint serum, highly recommend. And for what it is, the color payoff is really good. So I would give it a good 8.5 out of 10. Mine's is like a straight up liquid lipstick, but a lightweight one. It's not airy. So it's kind of like Robins, except it's not airy and fluffy. Um, the texture is really nice. It feels like nothing on my lips, so 8 out of 10. It is very fluffy. One thing is that like, I had to use so many fingers to blend it. I don't know what's Maybe going on. Maybe apply too, too much. Maybe. 7 out of 10. The application experience for me was um, 8 out of 10 also. 8 out of 10. Normal. No application. Texture. Texture. Oh. Okay, they're both 7 out of 10. <laughs> Okay, value for money, I definitely feel the whole Peri-Para line, regardless of what lipstick you get, is really good value. Mine was, what, like 8 US dollars, this ink tint serum, so 9 out of 10. Mine's was 7 US dollars, 
9 out of 10 too. So cheap. <laughs> 8.9 USD, which is 9 USD. And I think it's really good for mask use, especially now that it's COVID. It yeah. stains and it doesn't mm -hmm. transfer. So I think that's 9 out of 10. So just for a reference for you guys all, we have been looking at the price on YesStyle because YesStyle has really good deals for Korean products. Um, so that's just like the price where like where we got their price. You might find it on Amazon or something, but it might not price. be. Yeah, cruelty free status. They didn't disclose it, um, and we cannot find any information on it. So we would assume that it's, it's not, not cruelty free. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. got it. Okay, transfer test. I think we all have to do. Like, yeah, we all have to. Bit. We should also. Okay, the ink tint serum very very minimal. Peri Para is known for like crazy yeah. tints. It doesn't transfer at all. Yeah. Out of I, I have all a the feeling lipsticks, this is never gonna, like, tonight when I go to sleep after my dinner, it's still gonna look like this. Yeah, there's nothing on it. So yeah. let's talk about which, out of all the lipsticks we tried, which one is our favorite? I actually like the hair on the best. Oh! oh yeah. Consistency or yeah, just, just the color? Overall and the color, like what oh. I would use every day. And these, the matte ones, are not everyday for me. Very vibrant. Maybe something more toned down so the gloss is the most natural, and I would go for that one. For me, my overall favorite would be the 3CE Blurring Lip Tint. Is that, that's what it's called, right? Yep, 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 yep. The color of the one that I tried, Burberry, I don't think that's my favorite, but in terms of the application experience and the texture and everything, definitely something I would go back to, but I would get it in a different shade. For me, my favorite was the Roman lipstick. It was like so nice. I couldn't even, oh. I can't really describe it. I just put it on Actually, and then- Actually, now that you say that, I really want to try it. <laughs> and then I just like, it just woke me up. I was Is like, yours Whoa. different? She, she got woke. There's like nothing on here. When I got like a little note from the post office going like, you gotta pick shit up. And I'm just like, I didn't order anything. And then when I got there, it was just a plain box with my address on it. There was no yes style anywhere on this. Until I opened it and saw a bunch of Korean skincare products according to YesStyle, they sent us a box of hidden Korean skincare gems and we're just gonna go through what there is in here and let you guys know our first impression. Vita B3 Source from, wow, look at that brand name, just look at it. It's a serum. It's a niacinamide, 10% with 2% arbutin. Arbutin. How's it smell? Oh, I like the texture. It's very Ooh. cushiony. It's cushiony, but watery. Watery cushion. It's gel. It's yeah, gel. It's a gel. Kind, kind of, it soaks in It's a very so thin fast. gel. There's no smell. Stickier than the Paula's Choice niacinamide. Yeah. But it's less sticky than the ordinary niacinamide. So this is an in-between. She's a nine cinnamide expert. This is the Pore Anti-Sebum Silky Emulsion. And I don't know what this is. Is this a cream? The smell of this comes from essential oils. Yeah, this is tannin extract from per persimmon well, leaf There's and grapefruit chestnut. peel oil, there's yeah. orange oil. It's a very refreshing fruity smell, which is yeah. really nice. Like definitely before I go to bed, the smell. Mm, Very but aromatic. If your skin is really sensitive, maybe not, right? Because yeah. essential oil is not that good. I really like it, actually. It feels so nice on the skin. Apparently, though. citrus um, is not good for sensitive skin. Tightens pores and controls excessive sebum. You know what? I would try this. Yeah, I don't think the It's plant based. Yes. I would not try this. Sorry. I think it's actually fine because of the smell. Because of like the citrus oil ingredients. Frutia, derived from fruit. Avocado relief cream. Oh, it's a cute yeah. little bottle. Oh, it looks like a honey pot. <laughs> oh, it's apparently for dry skin. Do you want to like take some? It's very. It's so soft. The fragrance. The the smell doesn't. It, I would say there is virtually no. Smell. Yeah, it's actually not as much as the other one that we tried just now. But even the other one is not that strong. Yeah, no. I think I can. And use it's it. so, so so fluffy. Yeah. Like it's such an airy cream that just soaks in. Yeah. And my skin feels so moisturized. Oh, and it's meant to calm down red, dried out skin. Okay. They said it's good for sensitive <laughs> skin. And it's good for rough and weak skin. For a gel cream, it's pretty heavy for a gel yeah. cream. But it's still nice. It feels nice. So it's more of like a nighttime cream for dry skin people, I think. Um, honey glow cream. Honey glow cream from I'm From. And it they're all like, natural. It feels so good so on the skin. Fine. Oh my it god. Does. Wow, it's really Why nice. does it feel so yeah, good? It That's weird. So good. It doesn't smell good at all. It smells it's, like Play-Doh. Yeah. What's, What's going on? <laughs> you see this? It says 30.63% of something. So I assume it's the honey, but none of us Those can Korean, Korean speakers, you gotta let us know. Okay, this is called Stress Out Solution Pad. 
for surprisingly effective skin, which does not make any sense. It is by Bella Monster. Okay. I've never heard of this brand before. Same. Trouble Care Line offers synergetic effect of carrot seed oil effective for soothing the skin that ensure clean and calming care for the skin. Oh my god, smell this. Oh, the first ingredient is Centella Asiatica. So that's good news. It's very calming. And that means they use a lot of it as well. But, if you smell but it what though? is it? Is it a moisturizer? I don't know what carrot seed oil Guys, does. Guys, is it a toner? But it sounds fancy. What is it? I think it's a toning, like a toner pad. Okay, the thing about pads like this, it's like the world's most unenvironmentally friendly thing. Like toner yeah. could be applied without pads. <gasps> it's really weird. It, this, there's this so really much weird? liquid in here. This could this could tone like five Three faces. Of us. <laughs> yeah, literally. It's so uh, I'm like I, I'm wiping down my entire my arm. arm. <laughs> Legs too. <laughs> oh you can wipe God. your whole body with one pad. <laughs> Literally, I'm not even joking. Blackhead nose pad. Yeah, I'm not a fan of nose strips because they really irritate my skin. For me, I feel like it rips out skin. Yeah, it just rips my skin. Yeah, I use the chemical exfoliant. You don't yeah. really need Ooh. the strips. Like, like this. But it's be fun honest. to use on like a sleepover or whatever. You can like, yeah. I don't it's know, satisfying. pull out your blackheads and compare who has the most. Cool. <laughs> If you guys want us to review more Yestel products, please leave a comment down below. If you guys want us to review other lip products, also leave a comment down below. All of the products that were mentioned in this video are linked down below. You can use our Yestel code to get a discount. Mm. And thanks Yestel for sending us this box. Mm. Thank you!